Hi everyone. Uh, I've got a really exciting reveal to do uh, today. I generally don't do live unboxing videos of anything, but uh, I was just too excited to wait. So um, without further ado, uh, this is my V2 lightsaber. This I've done a previous review of this. This is a Dave Parkin replica with some vintage parts. So this is vintage clamp. Um, and a vintage boot stud down here. Those are the only vintage parts on this. Um, everything else is replica. Until now. This is an item which I've just won uh, on eBay this morning. And um, I got it at a really good price. And uh, I actually messaged a guy and he lived uh, not too far from me and he agreed um, for a collection in person. So I've literally just, uh, I've just come back from picking this up. So I'm gonna show you what's inside and why it's relevant to the V2. I've already had a quick peek because I was too excited. So. Right, this is a, a Mitchell turntable which is a type of a record player that was made in the 70s, as you can see here. These go for really expensive on eBay. And they're hard to come by, obviously. And they're really sought after in the community. I don't even know what all these bits are. I'm gonna go through all that later. But the reason I got it obviously was these right here. There's three of them. Let me take it out. Ooh, it's a heavy beast. All right, right here you can see. There's one here on this corner. Another one on that corner. And number three. So those are the vintage cone knobs that will be used to replace this Wanawanga replica cone knob. So bringing it one step closer to fully vintage. Obviously that there's no way to make the actual uh, saber itself vintage. That this was just machined. Um, but you know it's nice to dress it with the uh, vintage parts that were used in the real prop, which are the clamp, um, these two greeblies. The lever is still unknown, and the clamp card is still unknown. We don't know much about uh, the source of those, but in due course, hopefully. But yeah, I've been after one of these vintage Kronos for a long time. I'm just gonna take one out. There it is. And it's got, very importantly, it's got the correct and accurate knurling for the Luke Return of the Jedi V2 lightsaber. So you can see the diamonds on it are sort of on a vertical axis. Some of them, some cone knobs in different models have like a horizontal axis diamond and that's incorrect for the V2. Um, they're used for different props, I think, um, I might be wrong, but the, the TIE Fighter chest plate or something, and there's another V2 that's like plain, it doesn't even have knurling, I think that was used on the Millennium Falcon, um, and so on, but this is a correct and accurate knurling for the Luke V2. It's also used on one of the, um, it's called the Severed Hand, um, the Severed Hand, uh, what's it called? I can't think of the name now. The Severed Hand Stunt. That's the word I was looking for. The Severed Hand Stunt. That's the um, the one that Mark Hamill has in the fight scene uh, with Vader in the end of end, uh, Empire Strikes Back. The one that he's actually holding when his hand gets cut off. Because that's not an actual Graflex. Um, it's just like a Frankenstein of different parts. Uh, some, some is Graflex, some is Cobalt. And it has two of these, one on each side. Um, 
So because there's three on this and I only need one, because I'm not, I'm probably not going to do a severed hand. If I do, then I have the other two, uh, but I will most likely be selling them, because uh, all I really care about is one for the V2. There's quickly side by side with the one on one go. And you can see that Wanamonga has absolutely nailed it. I'll put it here. It looks almost identical, doesn't it? So yeah, very excited about that. And that's it for today. Nice quick video, uh, nice little find. And I will be updating my V2 lightsaber. And as I said, the other two I'm going to put up for sale. Uh, first dibs, I'm afraid, will be going to uh, my friends um, in the community. Those who have helped me out in the past with commissions and things like that, parts. Um, but if they're not interested, obviously, I will uh, make it known on social media, on my Instagram page, on Facebook. I'll put them up for sale and uh, I'm sure they'll be snatched up very quickly because these are very sought after parts. Anyway. Uh, thanks for uh, watching and I'll see you in the next one.